And a Johns Hopkins University freshman who authorities say was found dead in his dorm room earlier this week is being remembered tonight. A candlelight vigil was held for Jeremy Huber at the Homewood campus. 11 News reporter Karen Campbell is live in North Baltimore with more. Karen. Well, it is still unclear just how Jeremy Huber died. Now, several people came out tonight. They stood on Homewood Field, candles in hand. They came out to honor his life and to let him know just how much he meant to them. Friends, family, and fellow lacrosse teammates filled Homewood Field Thursday night to celebrate the life of 18 year old Jeremy Huber. We love and miss you, Jared. Forever a blue jay. Huber was a freshman lacrosse player who was found dead in his dorm room Monday. A candlelight vigil was held in his honor on the same field he dreamed of playing. I don't know why Jeremy's time here was so short, but I do know that he made an indelible mark on our world despite the brevity of his life. And I feel so blessed to have learned from him. Some express their feelings through an open letter. Words cannot express how I feel. And words won't bring you back. But I hope that my actions will reflect your goodwill and honor your memory because I know you rubbed off on all of us. This is just one symbol of how Jeremy will be remembered here at Johns Hopkins. The number he wore on his lacrosse uniform, number 19, is now painted here at Homewood Field. Jeremy's coach says it's a field that he dreamed of playing on. And you can tell just how good of a lacrosse player he was. Take a close look at number 31. That's Jeremy in high school. He truly was one of a kind. Jeremy's parents thanked his teammates, friends, and the hundreds of people who came out to remember him. I'm just amazed at, 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 at how fast he, he got to know all you guys and how fast he developed relationships that, that, that we know would, would have lasted for the rest of his life. A life, he says, that will continue to shine. Authorities say they do not suspect foul play in his death. Reporting live from Johns Hopkins University, Karen Campbell, WBAL-TV 11 News.